Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X. Today is a very special video. I'm going to show you how I did this hair from scratch. At the same time, show you a very interesting traditional hair styling remedy from China that has been used for women for thousands of years. And even today, for the people who are in Beijing opera business, when the women have those curled pieces on their forehead, it's done by this magical styling product that comes from the barks of a particular type of tree, which is called Bao Hua, literally meaning wood wool, the bark of the tree that's been sliced super thin. And the species of choice for the trees is elm tree, that type of slippery elm. I'll show you what it looks like. It's really pretty, crispy, and it's literally a thin slice of the bark of an elm tree. What you do with this is you cut it in small pieces and soak it with water. You can use cold water, but if you want it to be faster, you can use warm or slightly hot water and it will immediately start to become slimy. You can also soak a good amount and keep it in the fridge for a week and use it every day. This bowl of stickiness comes from only one piece of the tree bark and I've been soaking it for 24 hours. So now I am going to show you the process of getting that hair at the beginning of this video and I'm going to use quite a bit of the traditional Chinese hair gel hair product that comes purely from nature. After a day soaking, it kind of has this texture. And what it feels like is just slimy, but it's not sticky at all. And it smells a little bit like wood, you know, because it comes from a tree bark, obviously, but no weird offensive smell at all. This is my first time filming a video like this. It may just fail epically. Now I'm just gonna wet my hand in it and then just put a little bit on my hair to stop the static. Because the static is really bad right now. I have an old tango teaser that really helps. Usually for Chinese traditional hairstyle, you do this thing. At the top of your head, you kind of part it. And the front hair is one section. The back hair is like one major section. Find the top of your head and just go this. Do like this. Okay. I'm wearing glasses because otherwise I can't see anything and I don't wear contacts so obviously traditionally in China nobody has has um, glasses so on the side it will just look like this okay it doesn't have to be perfect really tie this up and this is human attempt against the second law of thermodynamics. The system is just always oriented towards getting more chaotic. And we're trying to fight that with hairstyle. Now you have the front hair mm -hmm, mm -hmm, on both sides. You need to uh, do the back. I'll do a very simple version. I'll just comb my hair and make it into a high ponytail. Now we're gonna do the back and then do the front and then adding a little bit of fake hair to make it more volume. I happen to have a good volume of hair, but very soft. Each strand is super soft, resulting in it just collapses. If I just use my own hair, it will all just flatten down. Give it a bit room, put, pull it up, find the middle of it, kind of, and dig a hole, okay? As clean as possible, push the ponytail through, okay? Now it's through. Just naturally let it fall into two parts. These are the two parts we're gonna work with. Now you have one side of the hair, use a little bit your slimy natural thing to make it tamed. And I'll try to, yeah, do this. The hard work of your arm starts. Tie this up. The reason that you make a hair like this is just to make it easier later to, to pin it. I remember when I was really little, I had really, really hard hair, like the hair that would stand up. When you try to like cut it really short, it would just go crazy. After adolescence, I think my hair just turned really soft. <sighs> some weird things happen to you, okay? Because I heard like some people literally ha have their hair turned from straight to curly overnight during their adolescence. Now, I'm just gonna make my hair into a bump on the top. Hope it stays there. 
with a shitload of pins. So this is just normal bobbing pin. Mm -hmm. And then I'll use also U-shape pins because U-shape pins tend to uh, work really well with this type of hair. Literally like that. My hair is very, very actually stubborn. It's very hard to pin it in any place. It will just come off inevitably later because it's so... My hair is very smooth, very silky, so it glides off. Sometimes, you know, when your hair is really, really straight and silky, it's actually not good for styling because it refuses to stay in any place that you want it to. <sighs> okay, it's kind of there. You know, not perfect, but it's staying there. And the back of it, let me see, is it too bad? I have no idea, it may look terrible. Now, I am going to do the side and then I'm going to add a little bit on top. So I'm gonna add some random stuff. These stuff, I don't know where you can get them. Can't even remember. This is just a, a piece of sponge that has this stick, sticky thing. And see where it should be sticking. I'll just do this. Using our elm tree, elm wood, wool soaked up natural hair gel Baohua, <laughs> okay use this I mean it doesn't work as good like as nicely as really as hair wax that you buy uh, like professional product for sure <gasps> I'm tired it's looking okay, but not ideal, okay, not ideal. This is not the best, again, type of making your hair volume up thing. There are better ones. Uh, I want to get them, but I need to have them shipped from China. See how many pings I'm using just because my hair is very, very slippery. Okay, at the end of it, just getting a little bit more gel to hold the ends. On the other side, gonna feel for it and equivalent in the same kind of position. It will be so much easier if I'm doing it on other people than say doing it on myself. Okay, if you find those little poking out hair, which uh, happens to my hair a lot <sighs> because it's super straight, <laughs> it doesn't want to curl back on the end. See like these little things coming up? Just add more pins. Okay, now I have my hair like this. If you look at the back of it, <laughs> let me see how bad I look. Well, it's not too bad. It's not terrible, but it's not ideal. If you want to do this type of hairstyle and go out, you need a friend to do it with you so they can make sure the back is perfect. This is just something you can get like on internet from China, but I'm not sure here where you get it. And then fake piece of hair that's actually of a different color of my own hair. It's a little bit too brown. It's real hair, so thanks to that person. You can just add, again, the, the lubrication thing on this hair. And because it's natural product, you don't need to wash it off afterwards. When it dries down, it doesn't get sticky. It doesn't get clumpy at all. It's almost like you have done nothing to your hair. It has two clips, so I have them open now. I'm gonna find a place to clip this on. Now, I look like absolutely horrible ghost story person. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I'm gonna curl this thing. Ooh, up. And up it goes to to the top of it. Now, what do we need? Shitload of pins <laughs> to make sure it stays in its position. So for this type of hair, really, hair wax and then pins are your best friends. And today I'm not using any wax and using a hundred percent natural thing that ancient Chinese women use, but it's it's styling power is very weak. It wouldn't be able to give you crazy shape, but it will make it more tamed than say if you're not using anything. The other good thing about this is it's ideal for making, you know, like the hand pushed wavy thing. That's very popular early last century in the world, not just 
not just in the West, but also in China as well. Those very wavy thing that you do with your hair. Like using this bao hua to do that is ideal. It makes it so pretty and shiny and thin, non-sticky, but staying shape. Let me put a net over it then. Just so that everything stays down, okay? <laughs> and then just adding another pen to it to make sure the net sticks in. The hair is done. It's not perfect. Uh, probably could do it better in terms of the... Yeah, it does seem this side is not as well done as, as it could be. And probably should leave a little bit hair here just to have a natural curl. And I don't know what the end, like back looks like, so. It doesn't look too bad. But I'd say if you find there's stuff sticking out from on the back and then they're like empty parts, you can just add a random flower, add any big thing to hide it and then it's good. Okay, not too bad. It's an earring, I think it will look good. And just hook it onto the hair. Isn't that lazy? Perfect. Now I look like I'm ready for period drama. <laughs> Apart from the glasses, obviously. This is how I got the hair at the beginning of this video. I am by no means an expert at making a period drama hair. Now this hair is just one of the random things I come up with after watching a lot of different people's videos and kind of figure out which one would work for my hair. And supposedly, okay, if you use it all the time for your hair, your hair will get really good. Not splitting, looking shiny. Since I haven't used it for a long time, extensive period, I can't tell if that actually works, but it definitely doesn't add any burden for your hair. I'm gonna take off everything on my hair and let you see the process and what the hair, the texture looks like. It's way too much work for your hair. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I've taken everything down. See? There's no stickiness. It's like each strand by strand is each strand. And obviously it's a little bit excited, so it's like more volume. If you look at the texture of the hair, it's extremely loose. It's not clumped, it's not stuck together. It doesn't like zero smell, but it doesn't have very strong um, hold of it. But then it's better than not using anything. And like I said, if you do the Beijing Opera, pieces of curly hair, that's literally done by one layer of hair, spread out, brushed with shit ton of this, and then bent back and left there to dry down. It will maintain that shape and very glossy and shiny. And I forgot to say somehow, I don't know where you can buy this um, in different countries. I bought this in China, but it's very common, super cheap, like dirt cheap. You buy a huge bulk that you can use for months and years. And this thing is already like seven or eight years old. Yeah, and it still works. It's dry and it doesn't go anywhere as long as you keep it and it's not moldy, you can still use it. So depending on where you are, wherever, what country you are, if you have slippery elm as a tree, you may be able to find something like this. I know I have an international audience, so I can't quite tell you where you can get it. But if you're in China, okay, you can definitely get it. Just use those two characters, bao hua, and you'll get it on the internet. So that is kind of my first weird hair video on YouTube, but it's actually talking about something related to Chinese drama, period dramas, how people do hair in ancient times, so it's still relevant to my channel. Thank you for watching Avenue um, X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching or happy hairstyling.